Simple is without a doubt one of the most talented players with the best aim we have at the moment. But in this video, I want to take some of those incredible highlight clips and talk about how he sets himself up for success, how he positions himself well with the rest of his teammates, and how he really capitalizes on any even small opportunity that the opponent might give him. In a team sport, finding good teammates is crucial. Join a community of 700,000 users on Dream Team to search for players who play for fun, play competitively, or want to go pro. Register on dreamteam.gg today and stop playing with teammates who kill everything except the enemy. Find players, improve skills, and manage teams. Dreamteam.gg, the ultimate team building and skill growing platform. Hey guys, what is going on? As in the introduction, you're looking at Simple today and a little bit of what he did at Blast Pro Series in particular. Obviously, they edged out NIP in the grand final, taking other victory in this uh, relatively unique, but still a very big tournament with all the good teams in attendance. Now, let's start off with a look at a clip where Simple plays more of a standard round, but it's a very good one to see how he plays discipline still and doesn't overextend, always takes the favorable fights when adjusting to the positions he needs to play. So right now he's just holding the left side of this smoke as so anyone comes through, and then he peeks quickly towards middle. Now a lot of players would overextend here, maybe try and hold this angle for a long time. They try and hold the right side of the boxes, but he just quickly peeks here after that kill comes into its Edward. He wants to know, all right, they're going for some kind of fast mid control maybe after that kill. Is anyone running down middle trying to get fast up connector? He spots, sees nothing, and he's straight back on this angle. And you see, if you hold that for any longer, Valens definitely has the advantage into that fight. And despite being a coach, he could have potentially still have won it. Now, after this 4v4 scenario comes in, now we fall into what I would call one of the most uh, common setups when you have just the four players alive. And I'll go over it quickly. It's going to be the one player playing retake in CT. You've got electronic going to be watching uh, the window boost slash connector run up. So this is what kind of lurk play, make sure no one can flank on any of the players. If they come towards A, they're just going to retake. Flame is going to try and get one kill. If not, they've got a strong setup over here towards B. And what's going on towards B? We're going to see a very strong setup in towards apartments and short by these two players. You're going to see as Edward or Zeus, sorry, holds this line. You're going to have Simple on this very strong line. And you can see with that jiggle that Simple had before, if they do contact towards Zeus on short, he can get this first kill. He can then peek out towards the apartments if he wants to. And Simple is still on an angle where he's very quick to respond to any short pressure that might come in. See, Simple goes back towards short. Zeus is going to be looking the other way. Before eventually they decide, all right, it's gone quiet for too long here. We need some information on what's going to be going on. Flash coming in from Simple. And this is just very, very basic teamwork. But you're going to see how it allows them to really lock this round down in the end. And really, just they really know how to play this together and make sure this round is going to be coming in from Na'Vi. So... As this one looks like it's going to be rotated off, smoke coming in from Simple, and then Zeus obviously has anyone who's going to be jumping out or coming fast at this apartment's area. Simple's going to watch short or the flanking potential because Electronic has been looking away for a little bit. Obviously very low on the clock right now, so Navi are banging on the fact that they're not going to come towards mid on this final execute. So as Zeus find contact, we're going to see the crosshair placement from Simple and how he really makes sure he's not going to get pushed in. So he's going to check short quickly before looking for that window jump out as he trusts Zeus to find that shot. Again, falling to this pillar. And what I love about Simple right now is notice he's not peeking, he's just hiding. He's not going to look overextend and he's going to hit that no scope. But look at what he's done right now. He's allowed his two teammates to rotate in. They're all very close on the minimap as you can see. So him just sitting behind that pillar for extra one, two or three seconds is enough for, even if he'd missed this crazy no scope you just saw him hit his teammates there close enough to mop up and it's a very small thing like this which makes simple such a good plan even though it doesn't show on his stat sheet it's gonna really help navi win some of those rounds so just a very basic round from simple and zeus overall but i love how they play off each other how simple check short before going back finding that jump out towards apps helping out zeus when they take that apps hit but notice how he's always finding the information first doesn't extend too far when finds information just quickly checks it before going back to the most likely spot or the safer spot for him to hit these shots and win the majority of these duels. So maybe that play was a little bit too structured for you. Maybe you enjoy the more disrespectful plays from Simple. So you're going to get one here. He loves to abuse smokes, use opponent smokes against them, and then presuming that these positions are going to be clear. One thing just to throw away, just because it's in this round, is you back yourself into this corner, aim where Simple is right now, and release when you hit this point here. It's going to be a nice running jump through, and you can see it's going to actually Molotov off this area of the map. 
forces Astralis to use their smoke in this scenario. Just a throwaway thing, thought I may as well mention it. Now, how Simple plays this, and something he'll also do in his Inferno, is he plays up in front of this smoke, and he uses the fact that Astralis are going to presume a lot of these areas are probably clean, because, well, you put a smoke there. Same with calls on Inferno, you're not really going to think anyone's going to be sitting in front of the calls. You're going to be thinking, all right, got to clear either dark area or new box or something. He's going to use this to find the clone to Magisk. Before actually going back for more on this scenario, something... Uh, very iconic to simple, and then using the smoke against the T side, falling back into it, making it very hard for any of these trades to come in. You can see Dupree's in the smoke, he's not sure what's going on, and just like that, simple's disappeared back onto the A side, giving his team a man advantage. Now, as he rotates into this B side here, he doesn't really find any kills, but one thing I love about what he does is how he plays the scenario. He does find a kill, sorry. But he's going to pull out his grenade and use it in this scenario. He knows where Zipex is because he just killed Edward, so he thinks, all right, I may as well use the nade. There's a small opportunity I could potentially find Zipex in this scenario, so he's going to throw it. He doesn't find anything, but then he's got his gun out. He can concentrate on this fight uh, with the last player alive, and it's just throwing these nades when you have an opportunity, extremely safe when rotating back in towards this site. And he's going to force Sipex away, and they're going to eventually win this round. So that's Smoke, playing in front of those Smokes, and then falling back, using them against the T-Side. Something I love from Simple, very disrespectful, but one way he finds a lot of kills on quite a few different maps. That's what I want to show on this one. It's just that, mixing up your play style, not respecting these Smokes, as the opponent might expect you to do. Sticking with Overpass, I'm going to talk about how on this retake and defusing the bomb there outside of Overpass, how Simple likes to position himself. He's very rarely the one actually defusing. He often obviously is going to trust himself with that gunfight with those players alive in toilet. But he's going to be mixing up his positioning and make it quite difficult for the T side to pre-aim his position when they're most likely going to be pre-aiming the bomb or trying to work out where exactly you're going to be. So you're going to see as the Navi players rotate in this 3v4 scenario, with the smoke down, Simple's actually going to get up on top of this box and play above where these players are going to be probably be pre-aiming. So you can see as these players come out, Zipex is obviously coming in, he's going to try and find the bomb planter. But for Simple, this is perfect. Actually, a bit of a one-way. You can see, I don't know where Simple is. He's apparently invisible even on the X-ray, but he's just going to find Zipex, find that first kill. You can see Device is going to be doing the exact same thing. He has to find this bomb planter right now. So Simple is going to definitely capitalize on this. He's going to find... Well, not that player, he's going to find the player at the back. But you see, as they're trying to constantly fight this bomb player, he's got himself in another position where they're not likely going to be pre-aiming their crosshair. Very similar in this scenario here, you can see the other player diffusing. Simple's going to come out nice and wide, all the way to the left, all the way on top of this flower bed, so that when this player peeks out to try and kill this bomb kill, bomb diffuser, Simple's going to see this player first. It's not going to be where he's pre-aiming, and he has a huge advantage into this fight. So that's a little thing. Some players won't do this, most high-level players will, but just varying up your angle when your player is or your teammates defusing this bomb, it's going to give you a huge advantage, and you're going to have much more chance at winning this particular round. Another great thing about Simple is his ability to adapt very quickly to a scenario and find the best possible outcome. It doesn't get tunnel visioned into a particular plan that the team might have set out, such as in this scenario here, you can see their idea is obviously to plant for construction to go in there, really lock down this very powerful uh, retake position for the T side. But when this utility comes in by NIP to block this off, as they know, obviously, that they came through CT spawn in this scenario. You see the CT smoke's about to come over from forest right now. Very quickly, Simple straight away pulls out his Molotov as well as a flash to move himself onto the site to really give himself the best chance to lock out this retake. He knows players are in Banana, so it's a great job to use his Molotov there. And now, even though they're split up, it still gives them a much better chance to win this. Edward's going to win his fight on Telecro, and then Simple's just going to hide. He's going to know right now that he's bought enough time, the bomb's ticking quite low, Edward's just throwing a Molotov onto the bomb. He's going to peek out, only find the one kill, but it's a big kill, as you can see, get right in Forest, we're trying to crunch onto this construction area, find these kills quite quickly. But simple repositioning right there, just find that little opening, uses utility earlier, doesn't think, all right, I have to save this utility for the bomb. He just gets it out, allows himself to move around the map, and he does a great job of delaying this retake and just adapting on the fly. As I said, a lot of players might struggle to adapt so quickly. Simple is not the case, and you can see, yeah, definitely pays off in the end. There are also people in the past who have claimed simple to be a little bit more of a selfish, individual rogue player on Na'Vi. And this is quite ridiculous, it's actually quite false, but this example here is going to be really tuning it back to the basics and just retaking this B-bomb site together with Electronic. So you're going to see Electronic's going to come in and they're going to be really nicely covering each other's angles as they come into this site. So you're going to see Simple's going to be the one looking down towards Banana, and while he's looking for this fight, 
It looked trust me that I'm covering him from new box or any of these swing angles from uh, this Ema or dark area of the map. So just like this, just two players coming in through core was a very standard angle for be rotating through. They're in very good positions to trade each other. Simple takes this fight and you can see straight away, even if he loses that, Electronic is there to swing onto it. So this is very basic stuff, very simple retake, which says two men retaking through this area of the map. If you're going to win these duels individually, give yourself the best opportunity. This is a great way to do it. So if you have a mate, try a retake like this. And lastly, I want to hit you with a clip with the AWP from Ticket Booth. A pretty common spot to have this AWP player. But I love how Simple gets in here towards Triple. Nice and aggressive with Flamey playing default. Doesn't just really hang him out to dry. He wants to get in here with him. But I also love how Simple plays with his teammates. See that flash just come in uh, from a supportive player. I believe it was Electronic throwing the first flash. And this is when Simple decides to peek. Not early. He swings out. He finds the first player. And then he disappears again. Another flash coming out from Electronic. And he's peeking with this to try and get information as to what exactly is going on. Trades a kill on to get right. And you can see he's not just peeking himself over and over and over again. And even though it looks great, you think, all right, Simple just got two AWP kills. A lot of this work is Electronic being prepared to throw these supportive flashes. Also Flamey doing a great job of delaying playing on default really playing together with Simple, and there's often a lot more to it than him just finding these incredible AWP kills. But that is it for this one guys, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did, and I'll catch you all in the next one.